What up, YouTube? So, uh, got a little video for you guys about the Ford F-150. Mine is a 2010, but I want to say this works for the 09s to the 14s. Not sure about the newer ones. Um, did see some videos um, about it, but um, yeah, this is for what I know. Uh, compartment behind the seat. Your back seats do come down and you have space back here for, you know, to get to your motor for your window if you have it. Uh, I don't have one. I got a solid window if you can see. Um, but yeah, to get to it, a couple videos on there. It's a little latch right here. You have to reach behind there and finagle it and pick it up. What I did was I used a pick, hooked around there and got it. I'm planning on putting the sub back here and some other stuff. And I said, well, I'm not about to keep on trying to reach back there with a pick. So I went online and I've seen some little stuff you can buy and try and get it to work. Uh, drill a hole through there and do some other stuff. But the hell with that, I went, let me see if I can get it. Went on eBay and bought this little package right there. Came to me in about three days. And basically, it's a metal bracket with a strap and a hook. The hook hooks around this latch right there and you thread the strap through there and it actually sits like that but just bolts on top this guard actually keeps this hook from just slipping out and it just sits there it takes about five minutes you need uh t30 torx for the let's try and put my light on I can get my light on. I can brighten it up though. You need a T30 Torx bit right there and right there. So you take those off, take the whole bracket off and basically slide it on. Um, what I'll do, I'll take it apart, come back, let you guys see and kind of go step by step like that. All right, so I have it, the bolts are out. I'm gonna light to work now. Um, what it is, see a little latch right there, it kinda slides up and comes out. So, I already threaded the latch through the bracket. So before you put everything going, you wanna make sure that goes on like so. Get it with one hand it's pretty easy though so i can try yeah so it goes on like that yeah. about that <laughs> so it should Oh, here we go. I was trying to do it wrong. <laughs> so, goes like that. This bracket goes like this. Right on top. Like, like so. And just slides into place. See? It's already cut out. And everything the notches are cut out for everything just like that so somebody was thinking real good with this simple logic and you just pull up on it through the bracket and bam so uh latch it back in place you pull up on it and it unlatches say that again that's closed lock unlock so anything you do now is the 
groove. Get it down in there. And yeah, it's set. Sorry for the shady video work. And I have my little cheap little set here. Everything back down. And it's a little neat little setup. Now, after I got this apart, I was riding around. Sorry about that again. I was riding around. Oh crap! I don't want to lose that. I was riding around for about three to four days with my seats unlatched just because I didn't feel like getting back there and trying it I did unlatch them and then I ordered these brackets the same day so I said it took about maybe three or four days so I was riding around with the seat bumping around wasn't a good idea but this little bar right here, it did slide down. So I have to slide that up like that. That's what the latch rides on and everything. I have it unlocked. And the only thing I have to do, I take the, the little strap. I mean, it kind of matches the factory uh, child restraint seat belt straps or whatever. And no, it won't latch, it won't catch until I take the bottom of the seat, kind of raise it up. So I do that, it raises up, it catches, see? Now when you wanna release the seat, just reach behind here, grab it, give it a tug, and it comes up, no problem. I'm gonna go back, it closes, see? Real easy. So now I get my sub where I want to put something back here, clean up if the kids drop something back here, I can retrieve it with no problem. If I want to put another storage bin or whatever, I got the access to it real easy now. And it closes. I have one for that side too. I put that one on first, just to make this video go smooth. And yeah. So now, yeah, that was that. Real quick and simple. Takes about five minutes. Only thing you have to do is, you know, readjust your seat belts back out. But other than that, yeah, you can store whatever you want to store back there. Like I said, I got plans to put a sub back here. I found them on eBay. A couple of different people make them. A couple of different people make them. Uh, they were like nine dollars a piece. You probably could find them cheaper or a little more expensive. Uh, I wouldn't pay no more than nine, ten dollars. Uh, the more you buy, the uh, less it be. I guess it, it might have it set up so you can do like a drop shipment type deal or whatever. But yeah, all right, that was a quick little video. Um, I'm gonna have some more things I'm adding on to this truck and I'll try and make some videos. Like I said, this is a 2010 F-150. Uh, it's only a 4.6 not a 5.4, but hey, it gets the job done. Um, all right, so yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for viewing.